one of those nights where I was on the way home from Alton because we went for lunch with a mate and the sky was looking proper banging. Banging. And I said to Samantha, I'm going to get out and do some photography because the sun looks like it's going to do something really, really special tonight. Loads of nice cloud cover because, you know, you, you want a bit of drama in the sky. You can see behind me there's a bit of cloud cover there. And then this happens. The sun is currently, let me show you the sky there. The sun is currently here behind that nice band of cloud on the horizon. There's a little gap to be fair, right where the sun is going to be going down from where I am at the moment. But I'm actually underneath Fort Purbrook, which is just up there. There's a road that goes up to Fort Purbrook. And I did go up there because they got a viewing point, but it's been so long since I've been up there. Last time I went up there, I took an engagement couple up there and did an engagement shoot. It's really nice with the city in the background, but the shrubbery has grown so much, they haven't cut it down, so you can't quite get a decent view of the city. And from this location, the sun's setting so far south this time of year. Uh, from where I am at the moment, it's actually setting just behind, the, just right of the Spinnaker Tower, which is there. There's a the Spinnaker Tower. Just behind there is the Isle of Wight. And we would have got a nice sunset over the city. I'm set up for a time lapse. I wanted the sunset and a nice sky, plus the lights coming on the city. That would have been a corker. To be fair, some nice clouds coming over there. They're actually coming my way, so if the sun does catch anything, I might get something. Potentially, I don't know. I won't know for another 10 or 15 minutes. Just look at my watch. A few moments later. I reckon I'm just going to miss it. There is a point at which a cloud is getting really... You can't quite see it, but that's where I was expecting the sun to go down. But actually, the sun's going down there. I can see the cloud getting really, really bright, and it is now time for sunset. And I'm wondering if any of that colour is going to come through, you know. I don't know if you can quite see. I angle it just right there. There's a bit of colour hitting that cloud. Whether it's going to spread across the sky or not, I don't know. Because the Isle of Wight's in the way, and if the cloud's low enough, it's just not going to cut across the sky. I don't think I'm going to get much of colour in that sky tonight but you know what it is what it is i'm gonna stay for the duration i've got quite a few shots to go uh, it should look nice when the lights come on in the city and hopefully i can make something of the time lapse and if this video has gone out hopefully it worked give or take for something or other i don't know uh but you know you never learn it's one of the things you you've got to be in it to win it i've got a few more analogies that i could think of right now but i'm not going to post them on youtube so this one cloud here it's got some colour on it. Unfortunately, it's not in quite in my composition. Uh, but that bodes well for potentially a little bit more colour elsewhere in a bit. We've got another kind of five minutes before the sun has completely gone beneath the horizon, which we can't see at the moment because there's, uh, well, the Isle of Ice in the way anyway, but there's a band of cloud quite high on the horizon. But we might see, yeah, there's a, there's a bit more colour now coming up here. So we've got that one there, bit of colour up here. Not quite over where I need it, which is just over here, unfortunately. But I think I might just be able to see that cloud for the way I'm facing on my camera. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, these are the trials and tribulations of uh, photography, right? Landscape photography. It's one of them is a hit and miss thing when you hit it you hit it when you miss it unfortunately you miss it but you know i kind of do a lot of time lapses and they make up for it because a dramatic time lapse look at that cloud in the sky now that it was empty 20 minutes ago should actually make for quite a good good time lapse and i have the 63 megapixel a7r4 so i can zoom into the city hopefully as the lights come on and uh, the video, or the time-lapse video, should look pretty cool. So, uh, fingers crossed, let's, uh, let's keep at this. It is now cold, it's just gone five o'clock. So we're about half an hour past uh, sunset. We didn't get a sunset, the clouds didn't go colorful. 
But actually, it's a real, really clear night. If you look out there, you can see the whole of the city, even though the cloud cover is rubbish. You know, it's a completely blank at the moment, which is too, not too bad for the time lapse. It is moving pretty fast, and the time lapse is going to whiz by. But the uh, thing I want to mention is how good the visibility is in terms of clearness. You can see the whole city. Look. Let me show you that. See the whole of the city is just really, really visible, and that's great for nighttime time lapses over a city like this. That's what you want. Sometimes when you've got a lot of cloud cover, it's very misty, very dingy, very horrible, you know. But the air is pretty clear, which is good. So I'm fingers crossed this time lapse is going to be uh, pretty okay, hopefully. Okay, back in the car. I know the line's not great. Sorry. Freezing out there now. I'm sure if this video's gone out, the time that's worked. The, the city looked beautiful at night, so I stayed out. I cut it a little bit shorter than I would have liked because a blanket high cloud came in and it was just like a, a black wash. The sky was dark, you couldn't really see anything past. And it's, I mean, it's, the lights of Spinnaker Tower didn't come on. They're not on now. I'm just looking, just looking to check in. I'm just gone, they're turned on. But they're not on, so it was kind of like. It was a point where I was cold, my toes were cold, my hands are just proper freezing. And I started packing away, and I turned around, and then this real low bit of cloud came in, went across the city, and actually the cloud lit up really nicely from the city lights, and I was like, that would have been amazing, and I missed it. It's like when you do a sunset, and you get the shot, you pack your bag, you walk away, you turn around, and then the sky just goes pop, and you've missed it. I had the same kind of feeling for that, but I hope the time lapse worked. I'm going to do a little bit of zooming in, zooming out. It's not going to be as long as my normal one, so we're looking at about 15 seconds worth of uh, time lapse video. But I'm happy with that. I think it's going to be quite good. Uh, fingers crossed. You're watching this video, so it must have worked, right? Uh, but what a shame I didn't wait just another maybe 10 or 15 minutes, braved the cold, and uh, got that nice cloud coming in over the city. Uh, it's so low as well. Well I'm, well, I'm elevated quite nicely. The cloud is just being lit by the city lights. It looks it looks amazing just to look at, but in camera, it probably would have looked, you know, ten times better. So at the end of the, the time lapse video, when you watch the time lapse video, look out for this little bit of cloud coming in that's just lit really nicely. Because I think you might just see the front end of it. Uh, what a shame. Never mind. Okay, so thanks for watching. I appreciate it. This is the first video in a long time. I know. Uh, my life is just really hectic and busy at the moment. It's been really tricky. I've been trying to trying to look at doing some editing videos for Photoshop, Lightroom, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's just literally finding the time. That's all. Uh, but hopefully he's going to do some more. And my boy goes to school full time because he's, he's only going half days at the moment. Full time in September. Uh, he'll be going to uh, reception, which is going to be a sad day but it'll give me more time to do stuff, hopefully, fingers crossed, and I'll be able to get more done. Thanks for watching, guys and girls. Please make a thumbs up, as usual, always helps. Leave me a comment down below. Comments help the uh, channel quite a bit as well. And if you haven't done so already, you like this kind of content, please, please, please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, so you get updates every time I upload a new video, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in another one. Take care. Bye. Here's the uh, time lapse, by the way.